this morning is the Elon Musk meeting, uh, well, um, general like session, um, which is sort of like a big buzz on the, the conference generally, this is like the big event. But then after that, there's not a huge amount that we have on our schedule, so I think we might try and go to the um, Academy of Sciences this afternoon um, and do sort of a touristy afternoon. Most of our science stuff is now on Wednesday and Thursday. Those are our two big days, so we're kind of taking it easy up until then, I guess. Right, I've just got to try and find, oh, there's the queue. Yeah, it turns out a lot of people want to go see Elon Musk. Who would have thought it? Okay, so we're in the queue. We're now in a queue so big it has meanders. Um, if it stays this way for much longer, it's going to end up with an oxbow lake. What you say? This is incredible. Uh, I don't think I've been in a queue this big for, well, maybe when I was at the Games Workshop convention in 2006. Which is a, oh boy, really nailing my geek colours to the mask for this video series. What you say? The room was huge. I reckon about 2,000 people in that room. Probably, yeah. About that. Yeah. We'll see. It might be disappointing. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the queues sort of yeah. stretching off in that direction, off into the distance, in that that middle third. Very <laughs> What part of the UK is Exeter? Uh, the southwest. southwest. It's the bit where everyone speaks like pirates, <laughs> basically. Are you a pirate? I think this must be what it's like to feel like cattle. <laughs> Good God. All of these people are individuals. We are not like cattle. We made it! So that was that, we just saw Elon Musk talk. Um, uh, we're now in the exhibition hall, uh, just nabbing free stuff basically. Yeah. But um, that was quite interesting, I mean it's, you know, you basically go to these talks because they've got a very big name associated with it. Elon Musk is one of the biggest names in tech. Um, I didn't think much of the questions that were prepared by the president of the AGU. The questions from the audience were interesting and they weren't also basically, yeah, just sort of gratifying him, which was basically what the previous questions were. But it's interesting to hear, I think the quote of the session was, rockets are tough, if only gravity was a little bit less. Um, yeah, engaging guy, I can see why he gets following to him. Um, and now we're just nabbing all the free stuff that we can possibly find. Casually there's just a Tesla Roadster lying around, because Elon Musk's in town. Uh, well, the motor is actually allowed to... You guys gonna get in? Manifest in it? Whoa, that's close in. Zoom out, 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 out. So I just bailed on the uh, exhibit hall, which is basically, I've realised, like a company's version of Freshers' Fair. And I hate Freshers' Fair. Um, so I'm now going to go to the student lounge and carry on with some of the work I was doing yesterday. Hopefully snare some free food in the process. Um, and yeah, this afternoon, I'm not quite sure what we're doing yet. It, we might not be going to the Academy of Sciences because I don't think there's enough time. Uh, we're doing that on Friday. Whoa, there's a party going on in the Career Centre and Student Lounge. Bloody hell. She researches the role that short-lived uh, climate pollutants play in climate change. Um Okay, so I just went to a session on science, science communication, which was really using um, plain English. Very well constructed session, um, like the first speaker was all about using plain English, the second speaker was all about telling a story, and the third speaker was all about using infographics, and they're like the three key components of effective science communication, I think. Um, a little bit uneven in terms of the quality, but it was a really good session. Like, I, I think it's really important that these conferences do those kind of sessions. Um, I think I might not have been exactly the target audience, but I still focus on me. Come on, thank you. Uh, I think I still learned a few things, so I think I'm gonna get some lunch now. Right. Okay, so it turns out that the lady with the Darth Vader S chain that we made fun of earlier is in fact Margaret Liner, who's the president of AGU. We're really sorry. Hello, and welcome to the next fully instalment of Simon Talks yeah. Into a Camera. We're walking through a conference. So I just did a little bit of work, and by work I mean kind of just catching up on emails and watching YouTube videos in the student lounge, where I now have free food and drink at the right times of day, which is good. Tom just bought a poster tube from the exhibit hall, but it turns out it's the wrong size, so he's returning it. And now we're going to the session, which we only just found out about, which is all about social media in academia. Um, there's two sessions, one after the other. Given that I'm doing this right now, it seems quite appropriate. Is it? Is it telescopic? Yes. Oh, it is telescopic. So Tom, as it turned out, 
um, had the right poster tube, it's telescopic, and uh, now I have one as well, and which was basically the last one in the entire conference. Yeah. Uh, so Tom, incredibly good call for me to get it right now. Mm, yeah. um, that saved me a lot of ball leg. Very interesting, like if she has, she can do this as well, a little bit. But talk about, these two here, at least to talk about what got them into blogging, why they do it. They're both scientists bloggers. <laughs> We just went to a social media session, which was interesting. It was mostly about blogging um, rather than vlogging. Um, so there's slightly different like, expertise, but very interesting getting people's takes on looking at covering things like climate change and dealing with trollish comments, um, dealing with uh, like tying in with institutions. Two hours of that. And then I just went to dinner with a lovely lady, uh, Laura, from the EGU. We actually had a drink and dinner. Um, we both needed to eat, so we just thought we'd combine business with eating, um, which is great. Um, and we, we went to this really cool bar somewhere just a few, like a block from the conference center. And apparently I had the best mac and cheese that the server had ever seen. Which is quite an honor, really, considering they serve it all the time. And. Um, I can't talk about what we talked about because it's a little bit hush hush and not totally agreed yet. But um, you might be seeing me doing something at the EGU, possibly, maybe, in more than the sessions. Can't say more than that, probably too much said already. But yeah, quite exciting, really. Now that layer between 10 kilometers and 50 kilometers in altitude is what we call the stratosphere, and it accounts for almost the entirety of the remaining mass of the atmosphere. So yeah, let's see if I can remember this all. Um, if you want more Battlefront videos with John and I just talking about stuff, then please comment below. Um, make sure you go and look at that singing playlist of, of choral music about Christmas. Comment below with which one piece is your favorite. You know, just have a listen to a few on shuffle.